Good morning everyone. We now know that kidney keeps our blood clean. But what about other animals? Actually, kidney is the excretory organ of all vertebrates. Fishes, amphibians, reptiles, mammals and birds have kidneys. Now, vertebrates are biologically very very advanced. But what about insects? An earthworm has a pair of nephridia instead of kidneys. There are two basic types of nephridium. Metanephridia and protonephridia. A metanephridium is a tubular excretory organ found in annelids and mollusks. A protonephridium is the older version of nephridium which is made of bunch of flame cells. It is actually the oldest excretory organ of the animal kingdom. It is found in the phylum Platyhelminthes and Nematoda. Some insects of arthropoda phylum like bees, grasshopper etc. have male pigheon tubule as their excretory organ. It's a slender tube-like structure that absorbs nitrogenous waste and salt from hemolymph. Arthropods have hemolymph instead of blood which is blue in color, not red like in our case. In many animals, water removes the waste from the body. It is common in many marine animals. For example, in animals of porifera phylum such as sponge have a canal system in their body. Water bathes most of the cells and the waste diffuses out of the cell into water directly. Starfish and other animals of Echinodermata phylum have water vascular system. So, the water supplies nutrients to the cells and also removes waste from the cells. Unicellular organisms like amoeba, paramecium, etc. use contractile vacuole for releasing waste. The vacuole collects the waste and keeps swelling and reaches the surface of the cell. Then it bursts to release waste out of the cell. Simple yet effective method. That's all for now. Bye-bye.